Here are my top 10 cards from Commander 2019 for Popper. All right, we're gonna go over some interesting reprints and the one new common card that came out of Commander 2019. I'll save that one for last. The first card on my list hasn't seen print in 13 years and it's Call to the Netherworld. Originally from Time Spiral, Call to the Netherworld is a sorcery for black and it says return target black creature card from your graveyard to your hand. But it's got Madness Zero. And if you didn't know, Madness says if you discard this card, you may play it for its madness cost instead of putting it into your graveyard. Though this card is heavily restrictive, it can still be pretty powerful. Madness in of itself is card advantage because you would normally be discarding the card, but instead you're getting to use it for an effect. And this card's effect happens to be taking a card out of the graveyard and putting it in your hand. Not bad. All right, number two in the list, we got Fiery Temper. Fiery Temper might just seem like a lightning bolt with a weird restriction, but like I said earlier, Madness is technically card advantage. So any deck where you're playing a lot of Faithless Lootings, you're discarding a lot, when you normally would have to discard a card, you can discard this, just pay an extra red, and boom, there you go, you get a lightning bolt. Moving on, we've got Dark Withering. Dark Withering is four black black, an instant, and destroy target non-black creature. So it's essentially Doomblade for a heck a bunch. But it's got Madness for Black. This is one of those cards where in the moment that it's really good, it's really good. And then all the other moments, you have a six mana Doom Blade. Oh, you would never want to play a six mana Doom Blade. Since we're talking about Madness, I had to mention Grave Scrabbler. If you haven't played a Tortured Existence deck yet with this guy in it, you should absolutely give it a try. Grave Scrabbler is a creature zombie with a 2 2 body for three and a black. But he's got Madness for one and a black. And he says when Grave Scrabbler enters the battlefield, if its Madness cost was paid, you may return target creature card from a graveyard to its owner's hand. So, here's the deal. If you have Tortured Existence, in play. You end up paying three mana and you get two creatures back to your hand from the graveyard. Tortured Existence is still one of my favorite decks in the format. Definitely give it a try if you haven't. As many of us were hoping, Ash Baron's got a reprint in this Commander 2019 set. Ash Baron's is a land that produces colorless mana and it has basic land cycling for one mana. So you can pay one, discard this card, and then you search your library for a basic land card, reveal it, and put it in your hand and then shuffle your library. Ash Baron's remains to this day one of the best ways to fetch for snow land. And because of Arkham's Astrolabe, everybody's running Snowlands, so Ash Barons are just really great to have. And they were getting up to about the $3.50 range a piece, but with this reprint, you can get Commander 2019 versions of Ash Barons for about $1.25. So now is a good time to pick up your sets. And if you'd like to support the channel, I've got an affiliate link in the description for TCG Player. Feel free to use that. Every little bit helps. Thanks. Number six on the list is Prismatic Strands. Thankfully, this card got a reprint. It was up to about $2. If you wanted to get a set, it would have cost you about eight bucks which is way too expensive for Popper in my opinion. Prismatic Strands is an instant for two and a white. Prevent all damage that sources of the color of your choice would deal this turn. So it's just a fog, but what makes this one really cool is it has flashback, tap and untap white creature you control. So Prismatic Strands is especially great in any deck running lots of white creatures. The next three cards are all gonna feature the mechanic Populate. We got Druid's Deliverance, Sundering Growth, and Rootborn Defenses. If you don't know what Populate is, that says put a token onto the battlefield that's a copy of a creature token you control. So you can only copy creature tokens, not just any creature. Druid's Deliverance is much like Moment's Peace. It's a fog, costs one and a green at instant speed, but it's got Populate on the end of it. Sundering Growth is used throughout our format as a sideboard card. For two mana of split green white, you can destroy target artifact or enchantment at instant speed and then populate. Then we have Rootborn Defenses. For two and a white at instant speed, you can populate and then make all your creatures indestructible. So it makes the populated token indestructible as well, which is relevant. Now, all three of these cards are interesting to me because in Popper, we actually have access to a pretty broken token. So let me introduce you to a card that isn't on this list, Zektar Shrine Expedition. An enchantment for one and a red, it has landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you may put a quest counter on Zektar Shrine Expedition. Then it has the activated ability, remove three quest counters from Zektar Shrine Expedition, and then sacrifice it. Then you can put a 7-1 red elemental creature token with trample and haste onto the battlefield. Exile it at the beginning of the next inset. So if you populate it, those tokens can attack immediately. This is really powerful. So the cool thing about Populate is if you populate this token, the new tokens will not be exiled at the beginning of the next instep. I'm really excited about this because I've been messing with landfall decks for a while now on Popper, and I think there's some hope for a Populate landfall deck. Might not be top tier, but it will be fun. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see a video about that. 
The tenth card on my list is Scare Tiller, the only new common card they made in Commander 2019. I guess the popper craze hasn't hit the Commander design team yet, but at least it's interesting. An artifact creature, Scarecrow, for four colorless, reads whenever Scare Tiller becomes tapped, choose one. You may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield tapped, or you can return target land card from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. Now it's important that these happen when he becomes tapped, so if you can tap him multiple times in a turn, you can do Freed from the Real Shin. Shenanigans. You can tap him with Springleaf Drum. At four mana, he's a little expensive, so he's not going to completely permeate the format and go in a bunch of decks, unfortunately. But for me, his last ability is really interesting. You can return target non-basic land if you want from the graveyard to the battlefield tap. So in these landfall decks I've been messing with, they tend to run full play sets of Terramorphic Expanse and Evolving Wilds. And those eventually end up in the graveyard in later parts of the game. And Scare Tiller could be a great way to pull them out of the graveyard and put them onto the battlefield along with your other lands that you're playing per turn and then next turn when it untaps you can crack it again and keep doing it. That starts netting you two guaranteed ETBs and with a 1-4 body he might survive quite a few swings. Don't forget to like the video and if you'd like to see more popper content be sure to subscribe. See ya!